Otama. How would you say this? Heute is the 12th März. In German that would be Heute is the 12th März. Okay, how would you say that one? The party is am 12th März. In German, the party is am 12th März. So why are those endings so different? How can you define when you have to add the ending D and when do you have to add the ending D? I will explain this to you because it all comes down to cases, noun cases. One of your favorite topics, I can sense it. Okay, so we have three different cases here which are important. First of all, we have nominative. Second of all, we have the dative. Third of all, we have accusative. So let's start with the first case, the nominative case. For example, we have the question, Welches Datum ich hüt? The Welt ich hüt, you can say as well. The answer would be, for example, Hüt ich de 12. März. As you can see, in this case, we add the ending T I. While in German you would say, Heute ist der 12. März. You add a TE in German. In Swiss German you add a TI. So the rule for numbers from 1 to 19 is you take the number and you add the ending TI in Swiss German. If you want to know more about numbers in general, you can watch this video, okay? So let's go through it. De erste, de zweite, de dritte, de vierte, de fünfte, de sechste, de siebte, de achte, de achtzehnte, de neunzehnte. So there are three exceptions to this rule. First of all, we don't say the eis die. We say the erste. We don't say the drüti. We say the dritti. And we don't write the acht t with two t's. We just write one t. The acht Okay? So as quite often with Swiss German, I myself get confused because sometimes I would say the erst, the zweit. I wouldn't say the erst, the zweite. But both are correct. It depends on your dialect. And because I was so confused, I asked my parents and said, How would you say this? Listen what they said. Uh, heute ist der 12. März. Heute ist der 12. März. <laughs> Tschüss. Okay, so even in my family, my mom and my dad say it differently. So let's just stick with TI in the end. Okay, so what about numbers above 19? So for 20, for example, you would say De 20 ist. So you add an IST at the end. You have the number, then you add an IST. Some people would write sh, I, like S, C, H, T. Um, but you know, as you might have already learned, the ST and the SP in Swiss German are always pronounced sh and sh. So people like myself, who are maybe a bit more lazy with writing and want to make things shorter, I just write st. So, 20 ist, 21 ist, 25 ist, okay? Here as well, we have different variations. Some people would, for example, say 20, 20 
Zigst. Eine Zwanzigst. So, you know, they, 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 um. <laughs> so, you know, they, um, change. I mean, they put the G in front of the I. And that's maybe more similar to German. But let's stick with I S T as the ending, okay? So, let's recap. In the nominative case, the question would be Wille or der Welti? So, Wille Tag is hüt. What day is today? Der Welti is hüt. Um, der wie viel te is heute? Then you use the nominative case, which is four numbers from 1 to 19. You, you use the number, you add ti. For numbers above 19, you use the number and you add I S T at the end. Okay, let's go to the next case. Number two is dative case. So the question here would be wann, wann in German. For example, wann hast du Geburtstag? When is your birthday? In my case, for example, I would say, ich han am 21. Der Geburtstag. Okay, as you can see, um, for numbers above 19, you, add, you take the number and you add I-S-T-E. I-S-T-E. Not just I-S-T like we had before in the other case. You add I-S-T-E. And for numbers below 19 and 19 itself, you add a T-E. For example, am erste, am zweite, am dritte, am fünfzehnte, and then am zwanzigste, am zweiundzwanzigste, am dreiundzwanzigste. Okay. So if this is all a little bit too fast and too confusing for you, for my patrons, if you become a patron, you will be able to download the script and the grammar on a PDF and you can study it together with the video. As a patron, you will be able to download lots of PDFs for all my videos. So let's go there, have a look and yeah, become a better Swiss German speaker. Let's go to the third case, the accusative case. So what kind of question would you ask here? Wille, welcher? So for example, you could ask, um, Wille Tag haben wir Welchen Tag haben wir heute in German? Wille Tag haben wir The answer would be, Hüt haben wir eine zwanzig ist. Do you notice something? For the lower numbers, I said T, T, I. For the higher numbers, I said I, S, T. It's exactly like nominative case. So nominative case and accusative case the ordinal numbers are the same. And what is interesting is that in German, it's different. In German, it's the dative case and the accusative case, which are the same. In Swiss German, nominative and accusative. Don't ask me why. So again, um, in the accusative case, we would say der erste, der zweite, der dritte, der vierte. Um, the nine twenty ish, the three twenty ish ist, like we had in our first case in the nominative case. So a little recap of all the cases. First of all, we have the nominative case. The rule is you take the number and add a ti if the number is between 1 and 19. If the number is above 20, above 19, you add a ist, okay? And the second one in the dative case, for numbers from 1 to 19, you take the number, you add a te. 
for numbers above 19, you take the number and add the ending I-S-T-E. For the third case, the accusative case, you take the number and add a T-I for numbers from 1 to 19. For numbers above that, you take the number, you add I-S-T at the end, like in the nominative case. Okay, so we have a few examples. For example, if I ask you, Veles datum ish morn, you would say, it's nominative case. You would say, morn ish de foif di august. You add a ti. Or, a velem dog hash du geburtstag. That's dative case. So let's have a look. Dative case. I add a te or iste. Okay, so for example, if you have your birthday on a ninth, so ich han am nun de si, yeah, nun de sibe de, for example, Geburtstag. The last one, accusative case, you could ask, wähle dog hammer morn. Accusative, let's have a look in the list, okay, ti or ist. Morn hammer de. Eine zwanzigst sieben die. Okay, you've got that. You know what? I have a quiz for you, and everybody can do it. The quiz is in the description. Have a look. Everybody can do it. You can test your knowledge. And as I said, if you want to go deeper into learning Swiss German, become a patron because I have tons of additional learning materials there. Okay. See you next time.